Now what I want to do is show you the device window. So if we come up here and say VST Instruments, I've now got this brand new redesigned slot. So VST Instruments slot. On the left hand side you can see Track Instruments. Now Track Instruments are these guys that we would have once have loaded into here. So Add Instrument, that's a Track Instrument. If we go back to our slots, then we've got Rack Instruments. So rack instruments are multi-timbral instruments. So instruments that can contain more than one sound. Uh, so if we have a look at Hellion Sonic, you can see that Hellion Sonic's got a whole bank of 16 slots down the left-hand side. So we can now start adding different sounds into these banks. Yep, so as we're adding the sounds, the other thing we can do is start to activate different outputs. So as I've activated that output, if I go to my mix console now, you can see that Hellion Sonic now has two outputs. So I can now go and add effects over the top of that one, oh sorry, of track two inside of Hellion Sonic. The other nice thing in terms of workflow is we don't need to go through and route MIDI files to the actual multi-timbral instrument. So at the moment, this is track one for Hellion Sonic, but if I right mouse click, so there's loads of shortcuts on Cubase, so I'm just right mouse clicking here, saying add MIDI track, and this is Hellion Sonic two. We hit add track, and now you can see immediately it's been allocated over into the instrument slot here in our instrument rack. It's a very nice feature there. So the other thing we can do is freeze the track. So if you've got an old Commodore 64, well, QBA 7.5 might work on it, but at the same time, if you, if you find your computer's just struggling a little bit to uh, get up big hills, then we can come through and um, freeze various tracks. We can do the same with Groove Agent. By the, other, by the way, the other thing we can do using this window is load presets. So you can see we've got the preset browser for each, each instrument. We can add automation, so we can read and we can write. The other thing we can do is change between these quick controls very easily. So as I move through, you can see I'm actually moving through the different instruments. So if I click on this instrument and then once again go to my quick controls, immediately my quick controls are controlling the parameters for Groove Agent. But if I click down and I can actually use a quick control to do that, now all I need to do is point at this guy and you can see it started editing different parameters in this window. So this is very handy for live performance. If we've got all of our slots here and we want to use different MIDI, uh, I guess, MIDI controllers, we can allocate a number of different MIDI controllers to each sound. So I could have my Mox F6 here uh, for my piano sound or my, my synth sound. And then I can use my quick controller, my QC controller here to control parameters of Groove Agent. I might have another drum pad set up here or perhaps the drummer's playing through an electronic drum kit or something and they're triggering pads. So now in Cubase, we can route all of these different MIDI instruments into both track instruments and rack instruments and we can have them coming out of their own individual outputs. So the kick drum can have its own output, my synth can have its own output, and they can all be loaded right here into these multi-timbral instruments. So nearly 3,000 sounds in Cubase, and the sounds are really good quality. Uh, you've got things like Pad Shop, Retrolog, Hellion Sonic SE, Groove Agent, as we've spoken about, and a variety of other different sounds that are included in the installation. So check out the other videos. Um, that's the new VST instruments and uh, the new racks.